right, let's get right into it. This is the Keeping It Raw podcast. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Make sure you also click that bell so that you'll be notified whenever we put up an upload. Without further ado, let's get into the video installment. All right, let's do it. All right, pretty much, guys, you know, I've been sitting back contemplating, really, really thinking, like, what's going to happen this offseason, and different things can happen. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but you just never know. You know, will Jeffrey Okuda be the odd man out? And the reason why I say this is because the Lions picked up a boatload of corners. Now, I know Emmanuel uh, Mosley is coming off an injury. And then I know last year, Jeffrey Okuda came off his injury and he played pretty well, man. He was playing pretty decent, was doing a lot of different things that uh, the Lions hadn't had in a minute. He was pretty much the best, our best corner, you know what I'm saying, at times. And, you know, um, he's on his rookie deal still. And I believe he's uh, he's scheduled to be paid, what, about 10, 11 million uh, this season. And with all the additions of the new corners on the team, with uh, Cam Sutton coming onto the team, Emmanuel Mosley, uh, I think they signed another guy named McCain or something like that. And uh, you got Jerry Jacobs. And you got all these different guys. And then the pickup of uh, Chauncey uh, Gardner-Johnson. It is a lot of players in the room. Now, I know Chauncey uh, Gardner-Johnson, he's a, he's the type of guy – that is very versatile, that can play a lot of different positions, whether it be playing a little bit of safety, whether it be playing a nickel in a nickel spot. Um, this guy can move around a lot of different places. And, you know, Jeffrey Okuda could end up being traded. Now, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but he could be the odd man out. And sometimes it's just... is. <laughs> It's a business, and I understand it. And pretty much the Lions could be at the wits' end with uh, Jeffrey Okuda. And he could be packaged in a deal to be able to move up to get a quarterback. Now, you already know right now currently that the Detroit Lions have not picked up a backup quarterback. They have not. And there's been a lot of speculation whether it's uh, Teddy Bridgewater is going to be the backup quarterback that they're going to bring in. Because if you look at the list of quarterbacks out there, it's not really good. All the uh, all the uh, solid quarterbacks have been taken. You know, the Jacoby Brissett's, the Gardner Minshew's, um, even Baker Mayfield, you know, having him as a backup. You may not love it, but, you know, it is what it is. He, he's gone. So most of the solid quarterbacks that you could have got in free agency most of these guys are gone and now it comes to a point now and it comes to uh, a hedge on the road is that you know somebody could end up being the odd man out in the cornerback room now I'm not saying that the Lions are going to do this but this could happen you know the the Lions could make a deal with the Cardinals like I said in my yesterday's video that the Lions could make a trade to go up to get a quarterback. And it may not be the quarterback that many of you guys want. You know, most of the quarterbacks that probably that you want is probably CJ Stroud or probably um, Bryce Young because you feel like these guys are, are the most ready quarterbacks in this draft. You know, um, you know, even Will Levis is talked about in a way that people – feel like Will Levis is really not ready. And then uh, Anthony Richardson is really not ready, but it's not too many quarterbacks that you really probably got your eyes on in this draft. You know, nobody's really talking about the Tanner McKees. You barely mention these guys. You know, the other quarterbacks are barely mentioned. And if the Lions don't make a move to bring in a free agent quarterback, no matter who it is, um, this situation is still got got to be addressed unless you're gonna bring Nate uh, Sudfield back. But this got to be addressed, and I and I know that Brad Holmes knows this. Now, we're not saying anything that Brad Holmes doesn't know, and you know that Brad Holmes is willing to trade up for a guy that he wants. Now, Anthony Richardson is a guy that everybody. 
um, can love or hate. He's a guy that could be a boom or a bust in everybody's eyes. You know, he's a guy that, you know, many people uh, looked at him in college and saw his inconsistency and saying like, man, you know, this guy, you know, he has all the traits and he can run fast. He can jump high. He can do all these different things. But can he play the quarterback position? And I feel like with Anthony Richardson, and I think I'm going to just say I think not feel. I think with Anthony Richardson that you can develop this kid. You know, he's going to need some time to be able to sit back and develop. Because the Lions are going to have to ultimately, at the end of the day, make up. A, uh, they're going to have to make up their minds anyway when Jared Goff deal is uh, is up. They're going to have to make the decision whether or not to extend Jared Goff or to move on with the rookie quarterback. Now, I don't know what the Lions are going to do. But this is just speculation talking, saying that this is something that Brad Holmes could be thinking about. It's possibly moving up. And Jared, Jared Goff has been playing extremely well. And if Jared Goff has another season like he's had, then basically, you know what I'm saying, uh, Jared Goff is going to get paid. He's going to get paid. If he, if he has another, rip off, rip, rips off another season, gets the Lions into the, uh, the playoffs, and even in contention to play in a Super Bowl, then he's going to be compensated. He's going to be paid. He's going to get those dollars. That's no, there's no F and buts about it. So the reason why I'm saying that Jeffrey Okuda could be the odd man out is because he could be packaged in a deal, especially with the Cardinals losing um, Byron Murphy. They would probably be interested in bringing a guy in like a Jeffrey Okuda who has a little time on the field and does have the experience and pretty much finally had his first season where he played double digit games. And maybe that may be a direction that the Cardinals would, would be willing to go in. The Lions would probably give up what um, pick number six and then package Jeffrey Okuda in that deal. That could be a deal that can be done or they could probably um, give the uh, Cardinals um, the sixth pick overall and maybe a third round pick. Any of these things can happen. You know that Brad Holmes will trade up because he showed before with um, Jamison um, Williams that he's willing to to come up to get the guy that he wants. And if he feels like it's a quarterback that he can probably get, you know what I'm saying, whether it's Will Levis, whether it's uh, any of these guys, because we don't know what Carolina is going to do. Carolina could shock everybody and take Anthony Richardson. Carolina could shock everybody and take Will Levis, but I don't think they're going to do that. They're probably going to take the guy that they feel that they're best comfortable with. Maybe it'd be Bryce Young. Maybe it'd be C.J. Stroud. I know a lot of the Panther fans, I've been on some of the sites, and Panther fans want C.J. Stroud. A lot of them want C.J. Stroud, and that's probably because he has, you know, he's had a great collegiate career. Um, him and Bryce Young. Bryce Young has been a Heisman um, Trophy winner, and he had a good season last year. And then C.J. Stroud as well has been a finalist in the Heisman, but he did did not win it. But he definitely has been a um, a great quarterback at Ohio State. Put up some phenomenal numbers. The only thing about C.J. Stroud is his heart. That's the only thing that I, can, that I can really say about C.J. Stroud. His heart to be able to run the football sometimes. I know he tries to prove to everybody that he can stand in the pocket and deliver the football. And that's fine and dandy. But when we need a play, we need a play. And you want to have um, a quarterback that can move the chains. You want to have a chain mover. Um, if a play breaks down... A guy that can extend a play with his legs. Not saying that the guy has to be Lamar Jackson. Not saying that the guy has to be Justin Fields. But a guy that can extend plays with his legs. That's what you're ultimately looking for at the end of the day. If you're the Detroit Lions, a guy that offers something just a little bit different than what Jerry Goff offers. But this is going to be something, man. Will the Lions pull the trigger on such of a type of a deal? Because currently no team has come up yet to be able to come up and get that third pick from the Arizona Cardinals. It could be the Raiders. It could be someone else um, wanting to come up to get a quarterback with all these teams um, wanting a quarterback and everybody making sure, because you know that you got to have a quarterback, man, 
um, to be able to lead your team in the future or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's the most important position on the team. And definitely, I think that the Lions would be willing to pull a deal like this off. So don't be shocked if the Lions move up to get a quarterback. If they don't take a quarterback in free agency, if they don't pick up a quarterback in free agency, Jeffrey Okuda could be a guy that can be packaged out because they could have their corner room set already with the rest of the guys that they have been bringing in. They brought a lot of corners in, and these guys are going to compete. They can also keep Jeffrey Okuda. Anything that anything that can happen. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to get you to think as a fan, what could happen? What are the possibilities? Because this this could be on the table that Jeffrey Okuda could be packaged with the Arizona uh, Cardinals to the Arizona Cardinals for uh, that number three pick overall. So, you know, pretty much because Jeffrey Okuda has not got his uh, fifth year option picked up. I'm thinking that this is something that um could definitely happen. So I'm not going to be shocked if Brad Holmes is willing to move up to get the third pick overall if he see a guy that he uh likes and a guy that he wants to bring in and develop. So you shouldn't be shocked as a fan because the Lions, they're in a position right now where they can take any player they want to. You don't know what Brad Holmes is going to do. I don't know what Brad Holmes is going to do. All this is is just spec speculative talk. And just saying that this could be on the table. None of us know what Brad Holmes is thinking. None of us know what his uh, scouting team is doing. We don't know. But what we do know is that they do still they still do not have a backup quarterback. And this this has you wondering, man. Inquiring minds want to know what the Detroit Lions are going to do with the uh, the backup quarterback spot because they have not brought in a free agent quarterback. And I feel like this can be on the table for the Detroit Lions. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel. This is the Keeping It Raw podcast. I am TA, and I'm out of here until next time. Peace.